Hello fellow Blender users. In this video I'll be comparing the processing power of the RTX 3060, 3090, 3090Ti and 4090. The computers are identical except for the GPUs. Originally, I had four computers each with two RTX 3060s each. As I upgraded to other GPUs I was able to move six of the 3060s into one computer. It was an interesting test. So, you will get to see how fast not just one 3060 is, but how fast six 3060s are. And you will get to see how they stand up against the 3090, the 3090 Ti, the 4090. Alright? This is the scene I'll be using in this comparison video. The scene contains lots of different kinds of materials. There are metals, plastics and leathers most of which are procedural. There are transparencies and reflective surfaces. The characters and displays have image textures which, as you know, eat up GPU memory. I disable the denoising for this render so you can see the artifacts clear up as the number of samples increase. The video is made up of 39 frames, the first starting at 100 samples and increasing 50 samples with each frame, ending at 2000 samples for the last. In the upper left hand corner is the render time, GPU description and the number of samples. The first comparison we will look at is what happens when you use multiple GPUs. I was fortunate enough to end up with 6 3060s to test. These are RTX 3060s with 12GB of GPU memory each. The biggest drawback to this is that two GPUs doesn't mean 24GB of GPU memory. The processing power does increase with each added GPU though. Just adding a second GPU almost cuts rendering time in half. Here I added a red bar graph to better visualize the speed. At 1000 samples, 3 to 6 GPUs take about the same amount of time to render. At 2000 sample 5 to 6 GPUs take about the same amount of time to render. This next part, we're going to see how 6 3060s compares to a 3090, a 3090 Ti and a 4090. At 100 samples, the 3060s are half as fast. A lot of what I render is done at between 100 and 250 samples. Depending on the scene, I might go up to 500 samples and in rare cases I take it up to 1,000 samples. The cycle's denoising works really well at cleaning up artifacts. At 750 samples, the 3060s begin to outperform the single 3090 and 3090 Ti. At 1000 samples, only the 4090 stands out and the 6 3060s are faster than the 3090s. At 2000 samples, you can see just how powerful the 4090 is. In a future video I might see what two 4090s can do. Leave a comment below if you would like to see this. Having 6 3060 GPUs might seem like a less expensive way to gain speed and power, but for me the 12 GB memory limitation is a wall I run into a lot. I have added a memory saver add-on that can resize image textures to save memory. I also use procedural materials more and more. It uses less memory and the GPU does all the math. Also, the difference with the computer having one powerful GPU instead of six less expensive GPUs is massive. You save space and power. My render farm is now six computers, two 4090s, a 3090, a 3090 Ti and two sets of two 3060s. 
the two computers with the 3060s give me the most trouble when rendering big scenes. That is my GPU comparison. I have to say, I am hooked on 4090s. I have two computers now each with a 4090 and using either even to design a scene is nice. My Beggar's Canyon video would have been difficult if not for the 4090s. The Canyon setup was completely procedural and the path setup had to be done in render preview mode. With the 4090 there was almost no lag in moving through the scene. I could play the animation in render mode and it played the preview at 30 frames per second. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and take a moment to turn on notifications for when I post future videos.